Hello, hello. Uh, doing something a bit different today. I don't normally do these types of videos, but I posted a couple of image transfers that I did in the group and was asked just to show you how to do it. And it is quite a basic process. It kind of takes me back to my, my BTEC teaching days of art and design. Um, but I'm going to just do a very, very basic um, run through of, of how I got the images. Um, I'm just going to show you, these are a few of the papers um, that I use. I don't usually use the A5, but um, I did buy the, the A5 on this one recently because I've got the A4. Um, I, I like mixed media paper. Um, this one is a sketch paper from uh, Arteza. Haven't used this one um, before for this, so I'm not sure how it's going to work. And the uh, the Canson, which I really like. This is probably one of my favourites. It's quite a good price and it has a really nice feel to it. So I'm just going to get rid of those. Okay, um, what else? Um, got my brayers. Got my um, jelly plates. Although you can do this on your glass mat, you can do this on um acetate sheet glass sheet you can do it on other things you'll get a different um of this is the these are the first ones i've actually done on jelly plates um and they do look very different to when you're using glass and things like that um so what else i've got my this is the lid from my paint box and i've just got a wet very damp but not it's actually really wrung out um wet towel just in case <laughs> i don't use it very often but just in case and i've got my um my acrylics acrylic paints so i'm going to swap these over so i'm going to put my that's my emergency towel um now what i'm you can use magazines for this magazines work great but it's always hit and miss which ones work and which ones don't you do i a shiny page is better um i have done this using inkjet prints onto a semi-gloss and a gloss photo paper and again the photo paper you use will depend on whether the pool works or not. Um, what I have been using and what I like to use is um, a glossy vintage book page. These work quite well. And I always find that if you have a lighter background with a darker image on your the picture you, you want to um, transfer, you usually get a better result. Um, now, I did a colour one. Um, and I'm going to try another colour one today. This one is a little bit darker, so I'm not sure what... Sh I mean, hopefully these will pick out. They're not going to be completely detailed because we've got quite a dark background. Um, I've just got a few, a few images here that I think will work. The other great thing about doing prints like this is if you do text, it's going to be the right way round. It's not like when you're doing a matte medium um, image transfer and then you remove you remove the paper afterwards this will be the right way round um so that's that's quite that's quite good quite cool okay um let's get started i'm really nervous because i don't like i said i don't normally do um this type of video and it does take me back to my my teaching days now my jelly plate is absolutely pants in as much as um when i took it out there are um, I mean, you can't tell exactly because there are air bubbles under the plastic sheet but there are a couple of um, blemishes there's one there um, there's a couple of blemishes in my jelly plate and they do actually show on the um, on the print now I bought this probably over a year ago and I didn't use it for probably six months when I first got it so this one I don't use as much as this one you can probably tell um, but we're going to do a full size one and what's great about this is the papers after you've done the pull and I'll show you those some of those that I've got dry in a minute so um, I usually I usually use I'm going to slide that out of the way um, I'm going to use a am I going to use a big one no, I'm using two rolls I don't clean my rollers very rarely do I clean my rollers but when I do I use alcohol um, hand sanitizer alcohol gel something like that Okay, so the first thing you want to do is think about what colour you want on the background. So I prefer um, a lighter colour um, and I'm going to go for one of my favourites. Um, I don't know what the colour is called, Desert Cactus, um, but it's a really nice shade of green. So on with the paint. Now, the thing with this is 
you want it to be um, fairly covered, but you don't want it to be too thick. So um, it's easier to start with a smaller amount and then um, work up. And you can, uh, I actually like the texture of not having it completely smooth. Um, I could add a bit more paint here if I wanted to and get a smoother finish, but I'm not going to. Okay, so I'm going to take my sheet, let down. You want to push, but you don't want to over push it because you will actually pull up, you will pull the surface of the paper off. So I really like that. Okay, that's the first bit. Um, now the second bit is you need a darker paint. Um, blacks, purples, dark blues work best with this. And I, oh, I've probably got very little left. I really like this Arteza Fancy Black. It's a metallic. And I'll show you again why um, this has been my favourite for a while. So we're going to apply way too much paint. Way too much paint. That's okay. I'm just going to grab my spare sheet to roll out my excess ink on. Paint. Always did this with ink before. <laughs> Teaching. I used to teach um, um, several several techniques, but one of them we used to use um, an ink and put it through the heat press, which was really cool. It was we always used to do a self portrait for. Um, level twos good fun um i have put way too much let me just take a bit more off that you want you want it fairly even but you, do, you don't want it too thick that's cool Okay, let's go for this colour one first. I've got no idea how it's going to turn out. And I do apologise about the light. It's really dingy here today. So again, it's that shiny kind of book page. And I'm going to put this down. You want a reasonable covering. Um, you want to push fairly well down. But like I said, it's, it's just practice really to get the, to get it right. You kind of get to know how hard to push. And when you lift, you'll start to see whether this particular print works and this one does. So that's fabulous. Let me just put that there. And now I'm going to go back to my original. And this is where you want to push a little bit harder just to lift that lift that up and I really like the black edge you can cut them down obviously let's see yeah that one's turned out beautifully okay now I don't know if you can see this mark here that's where my jelly paint plate has a bubble in it um I'm looking at the screen and it's not actually as clear on the screen is it is looking at it for real um but that's that's actually quite a nice um transfer so i'm happy with that one okay let's do another one i'm not going to do dozens and dozens of them um i'm just going to pick pick one i literally just pulled out a few sheets that one might work quite well that one's a bit plain I really want to try that one. This one's got a bit of a slightly darker background, so we'll see how, how that goes. Okay, so paint, what colour? Um, morning mist. Shall we use more? No, oh no, I like this one. Um, cobblestone. I like this one. Okay. 
I mean, you can literally, you can, um, you can do several of these in an hour and you can get um, a bit more artistic with them. We used to cut out um, certain phrases and things from magazines and layer them. They're a little bit more difficult to pull up because you obviously have to get your little, your little nails under the images in the paint. But um, that's always quite fun if you're using magazine images. Um, we used to do that when we used to do the um, study Salvador Dali, which was quite fun. Okay, right. So I'm going to try a piece of this Arteza. It's a lot thinner because it's sketch paper, but I'm quite interested to see what it will be like because I want the text this time as well. So, and the text is great to use in collages. Okay. Like I said, I've not used this particular paper for this process before. We're still actually pulling up some of the previous image, which is quite nice, <laughs> and some text along there. Okay, so now we go in with our darker colour, and I'm using this Arteza Black again. I'm going to have to buy more of this stuff because it is lovely. I do love it. More because of what you get on the images that you're pulling rather than... <laughs> And the paint itself but I'll show you they look like daguerreotypes once you've done which I absolutely love and again the papers are fabulous to use in collages and things like that you might um, I'm not sure how um, I don't tend to use magazines um, they're just not my thing really um, I always prefer to use book pages okay so I'm gonna try um, this one and we're going to get text on here too, which is going to be quite nice. So the Trees and Flowers of the Countryside is the book I'm using. You can see by the title. So you can have a little lift and see. It's not as easy what I'm gonna do there is a very very faint image on here just bear with me one second sorry the laptop logged out I've got a new setup for, for filming so this is the first time um, and let's hope, <laughs> let's hope it's going to work. Um, I'm using my laptop instead of my screen because my computer is now over that way. It's not in front of me anymore. Um, I'm now using a free um, mirroring software. I'm still having that problem of doing something and talking at the same time. Um, I'm using a different mirroring software. This is a free one called Let's View. And it so far is working a lot better than the paid air server. No, there you go. See that one has not, that one hasn't worked. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another lift on that page. So that's fine. Nothing wasted. Let's try. We'll try this one. Okay. So back in with the black. I'm not going to wipe this. I'm not going to clean that off. I'm going to leave that there. something on my brayer. There you go, that's when your wet towel comes in handy. Okay. Um. I don't think I rolled that out very well either. I mean, this is the kind of thing that I do I do, and just have a bit of fun with. Not normally the kind of thing I'd film. Let's see if that's... 
ah we've got a much better impression this time so this should be this should be cool and you're always going to get that you're always going to get something that works and then something that doesn't so don't worry if it doesn't work just try again um but you probably would find if you tried a magazine and that didn't work none of the magazine would work because all the pages are going to be the same um in terms of you know they might do <laughs> obviously this is all the same book some work some don't that's lovely and this is why I love this Arteza Fancy Black because it's very you've got the gold shimmer in it as well as the black which I love I just love it um, I'm going to show you what I mean by these dry prints these are some that I did before I'm hoping you're going to be able to see try and get the light right um, they do look like daguerreotypes they're so beautiful and these papers are just going to be amazing for working on to make some tags and things like that um, I just think it's beautiful okay should we do another one how many have I got left um, I want to do I want to do the ah, pants right I'm just going to move this one out of the way and grab my my little one okay um i use i don't you can probably see the print on there i used some it was really expensive and i probably won't do it very often but i use this amazing watercolor texture paper um oh it's just lush just lush right let's go let's because we've got the blue on here let's go for blue and this one is salem blue and it's again deco art that's not the same actually that one that's the golden turquoise that's on here Ooh. I think it is time I did clean my rollers I've got bits all over them right <laughs> I have fluffy rollers. Never mind. I always like, I'm going to put them in a plaque. I'm going to keep them really clean. Every time I clean them, I say that. And then, pff, who does? Most proper artists do, not me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use this smaller sheet this time. Okay, so we've got our background. This is a fairly hefty weight paper. What did I do with the image that I was going to do? There it is. Let me pop on the black. That, should, that might be enough. Okay. So I want to make sure I get that image with the leaf. That's really cool. The biggest issue with this is just finding images that are going to work. Oh, I love this because it's got some of the lettering from the previous previous one. You can see I've got the text up there and down there. 
and again you've got that lovely gold shimmer love it right okay um this is all um this is just all going to dry and then what i'll do when it's completely dry is i'll put a coat over that and try and lift the whole lot at once okay um what else could we do what else could we do um well i think that's it really i've shown you i mean look at that once that's cut out that's going to make an absolutely amazing background for something for something who knows what but it is i don't know if this one is that's the the leaves i just absolutely love the effect of this paint on this shiny paper it's awesome um let's go back to the big one i've got one i've got this one more <laughs> let's try this let's try this one let's see how that works okay let me just grab my make sure there's nothing gonna come off that let's go for something okay i'm gonna use one of the other arteza metallics um this one is awesome it's shocking lime green think it was one of the, actually I'm going to do let's go two tone what have we got I don't want anything too right let's do um let's do playful pink with the green okay now I'm gonna I'm gonna spin mine round that oops I'm losing my thread getting too excited getting ahead of myself looks amazing but that bubble really does annoy me it really, it really does and i know it shouldn't but it does um i might have to um get myself a nice new piece of perspex go to the old-fashioned way of doing things it is very different though you get very different effect than you do with these jelly plates i held off buying one of these for so long because i was like meh meh i don't know not sure not sure about this jelly plate thing um it's very difficult when you're filming i i don't tend to work th in this way <laughs> when i've got when i haven't got to be in this little space So I'm going to try this one. It might go horribly wrong because it is quite dark. It's quite a dark picture. But sometimes they will surprise you. So it's worth having a go. If you can, if you can waste or not waste the paint because you can, there's always something you can do with these, even if they don't work. Let's look. In actual fact, that looks pretty amazing. And this is going to look pretty awesome too because we've now got the pink at the top there as well as the green and the gold okay let's see and i'm going to try and line up the green with the greenery at the bottom and then have the pink at the top okay Please work, please work, please work. Wow. There you go. So it just goes to show, even if you don't think the image is going to work, it's worth it's worth having a go. And look at that pink gleam at the top there. Love it. And I really love these. 
these black backgrounds um, and I could do several things with these I would um, stick them into my art journal and add words I could do stamping over the top um, all sorts of things that, that you know the possibilities are endless you can add more collage on top of them um, but a phrase or something at the top here would just be perfect I think that's done lovely so we have this blue one which I really love the way that writing has turned out and this one which actually turned out really quite cool and then the first one we did with the flowers and there's that bubble Urgh. <laughs> yeah I think I'm gonna have to purchase a new one that's why I use it as you can tell that's why I tend to use this one rather than this one okay but there you go so that's how I did my image transfers I hope that was helpful um, and I hope that um, you don't get rid of these keep them keep them because they are amazing right um, I'm about probably going to run out of battery very soon because I only charged it a little bit just to make sure I could film a bit today take care please stay safe I will see you all soon bye